This is a podcast from the BBC. For more information and for our terms of use, go to bbc.co.uk forward slash podcasts. Valentina, thank you very much indeed. Valentina Lisita playing a Scriabin, Chopinesque, uh, as she says, which she's playing Prokofiev, uh, uh, the Barbican, on this uh, coming Sunday. Uh, Prokofiev, uh, piano with number two. Mm-hmm. Pretty, uh, pr- pr- pretty powerful stuff. Yes, I would play some Prokofiev for you, but I don't want to break the piano. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a, to get a bill. <laughs> <laughs> you've got very, very, you've got incredible power. I mean, great subtly, but you've got immense power. Did you always have that? Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> it it took some practice to yeah. develop. It's very interesting. Um, <laughs> Ji Liu was with us last night, a, a very slender young Chinese pianist, and uh, he said his power wasn't sufficient. And then a couple of years ago, he saw some guys break dancing in the South Bank of London. He thought, ah, so he took up break dancing to get more strength. Wow. <laughs> You've overcome m- many more hurdles than that. I think the first time you came, you weren't long into the, um, the, the place in, in, in Carolina where you would live, and there were termites falling all around you. <laughs> Not termites, fleas. Fleas, oh, please. Yeah, oh, all all kinds of vermin, yeah. Oh, have you got rid of them? Uh, no, I found easier solution. I moved to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds to me like a very elegant solution. Yes, yeah, simple and elegant. Yeah, yeah, it's simple. But now, of course, you're so much in demand all, all over the planet. That, that early g- gamble or being inventive and putting your music up there for people to see and hear all over the world really paid off. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's great interest to classical music, let's face it. Yeah. Well, so what, 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 what do you say to all the people who are depressing about the future of classical music and say the audiences are staying old and young people aren't being engaged? You know, we keep saying it for, like, the last 200 years. Chopin letter was about concert in Edinburgh where he complains that yes. only great-haired <laughs> people there and young are hunting. Yeah. Same. You know, the yeah, audience yeah. never dies. No, an audience never dies. And I think it take, people take time uh, to to, um, to get into the classical music world, don't they, sometimes? It's like taste, developing taste for fine food or for wines, you know. Mm. We go for simple and sweet stuff for bubbly, yeah. and to appreciate good old wine takes some experience. Yeah. Everybody gets there eventually. Yeah, so you're not worried? You wouldn't say we need to try harder? Oh, I'm very optimistic. But what's the reception you get? I mean, do you get young audiences? Yes, I do. Because you packed out the Albert Hall. Yeah, yeah, it was young people, a lot of young people. And, you know, the best compliment for me when, you know, some young person comes to me after the concert to sign CD and says, oh, you know, this is my first classical music concert, and you know it has as much energy as rock. Yeah, Yeah, well, it does, it does. Interesting people talking uh, recently, I think, about um, the, the young audiences in places like South Korea, and he said one explanation he thought was because it wasn't the music of their parents and therefore they weren't rebelling against something. That's probably true because I find it not only in Asia but also in South America. A lot, you know, I play in Brazil a lot, I go to Chile, to Argentina, all mm-hmm. those places. Lots of young people, totally open-minded, totally crazy about classical music, and they don't have, you know, they were not spoon-fed it. Yeah. You know, say, oh, it's good for you, you know, like broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also, there is not this uh, attitude of elitist, you know, you have to have education to yeah. appreciate yeah. it. No, it's open for everyone. Yeah, well, your heart's open, your mind's open, and mm. it comes, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, uh, we don't need to do anything fancy then, but maybe we just need to be a little bit less pompous about it and just say it is a wonderful thing and it is available. And it's, it's, it, the elitism is fine when it's, when it's been the best of practitioners like yourself. The rest of us just bask. What are you going to play next? How about some real Chopin? <laughs> real Chopin from Valentin Lisitsa. I can see a title of an, an album coming a long way. Have you chosen which etude you're going to play? How about the... Everybody's favorite, oh. Opus 10, number three, is a okay. slow one. Okay, lovely. Thank you. Okay, Valentina. I'm running to the piano. <laughs> 